back. Today I will be going over a new feature called the Polygonal Landmass Lasso. It's in 1.0.4, so unless you're watching this from the future, it will only be in the beta section of your download page. Now in order to use the tool, you want to go to the Land tab and click on this particular button. To draw a selection, you can click starting anywhere on the canvas several points that create a shape. To finish a shape, you can either right click or double click the final point. It is important not to overlap any of your lines so that it creates a proper shape or else you will receive a warning like so. Now I'm going to generate a random landmass so I can show you the various things that you can do with this tool. Once you make a selection, say for example around this island, there are several things that you can do. You can erase, you can fill the entire region in, you can move the selection. When you move any landmass with this tool, it becomes a blue silhouette. That's because it is not finalized onto the landmass yet. In order to finalize the selection move, you need to either press enter or click left click anywhere beyond the bounds of the selection. You can cancel out of a move by pressing the escape key. And finally, you can also cut, copy, and paste any selection that you have. So for example, I can copy this and tell it to paste, and I have an identical selection that needs to be confirmed, just like if you were moving the landmass to begin with. And more interestingly, you can even paste this onto a separate map by going back into the lasso tool and clicking paste after loading the new map. And it will naturally combine with other land masses without creating any issues. It will also copy the colors of the ground that you have along with it. So for example, if we decide to copy this whole chain and paste it into a new map, because for, say you want to make a bigger world map, you can do so, again, by going back to the lasso tool and clicking paste. One more use of this tool is to replace the original way you might fill in a landmass that you have traced using the trace image. Before you had to use a landmass brush, maybe increase the size and fill it in manually. And it could be painstaking to get into these nooks and crannies, become a time consuming chore. Rather than doing that, you can now use the poly uh, polygonal landmass tool and make a selection following the coastline that you've created. And remember that you can use the middle mouse button to pan while you're still creating this shape. And when you finish the selection, press the fill button and it will fill it all in. Thank you all for mapping with Wonder Draft. I hope you enjoy this new feature.